So I ver first got interested in uh, in science when I was perhaps six or seven. Uh, my dad was a passionate um, uh, person uh, in, in the natural environment. He came from the Alps. And so we would spend our time in the woods uh, or just looking at the landscape from all these experiences in, in, in nature, pretty much. Hiking a trail, hunting for uh, edible mushrooms or whatever it was. I developed this keen interest in, in the natural sciences, in the sciences. And I knew also I wanted to do something in, um, in ways that could make an impact. And uh, at that time, we found the way of using plants to remove contaminants from the environment, and that is my connection. And, and, and using what uh, was a concern before uh, into a technology, you know, turning that into a technology. Being one of the few women in a male-dominated uh, environment is definitely tough. For me, it was also an opportunity. Um, and the opportunity I am referring to is the opportunity to um, socialize with other women and seek uh, other women's experiences uh, in, um, in the WISC community, the women in science and technology community. What I found is that as I grew and, and I got into a leadership position, I thought I, you know, what prepared me the most for, for that was really actually working uh, side by side with other women to think what um, a better organization would be and, and how um, impacts to women uh, and things that improve the life of women can actually impact the whole lab. There's a lot of, uh, of work to do still, but I'm, I think we're making some progress and that's the important part. Some of the problems are, are gone, some of the problems are the world's problems, like we, we share these problems with a lot of other organizations and so um, there's a lot of work to do.